We're asked to find the dimensions of the rectangle with perimeter 1,760 centimeters with the largest possible area. We're told for this problem, if necessary, assume that the length is less than or equal to the width. So let's label the lengths of the sides of this rectangle using the variables L and W. Let's let the length of the two shorter sides be L, the length of the two longer sides be W. Because the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the rectangle, the perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2W. But we're told the perimeter is 1,760 centimeters, so we can set this equal to 1,760. Now our goal here is to maximize the area, and the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. To maximize the area though, we want to write the area function in terms of one variable rather than two. So what we'll do is we'll use this equation here for the perimeter, which is called the constraint, and solve for L or W, and then perform a substitution into the area equation. Let's go ahead and solve this for W. So we'll subtract two L on both sides. So this difference is zero. So we have 2w equals 1,760 minus 2l, and then we'll divide both sides by two to solve for w. Let's go ahead and divide each term by two. Simplifying, we have w equals 1,760 divided by two is 880, and 2l divided by two is l. Now we can perform a substitution for w in the area equation because w equals 880 minus L. So we'd have the area is equal to L times the quantity 880 minus L. And now if we distribute, we have the area is equal to, let's write the squared term first. So we have negative L squared plus 880L. Notice now we have A in terms of one variable, the variable L, but also notice how we have a quadratic equation or a quadratic function. So if we were to graph this, we should be able to recognize the shape would be a parabola, and because the coefficient of the squared term is negative, the parabola would open down. So recognizing this, if we want to maximize the area, we need to determine the vertex of the parabola. Before we do this, let's look at the actual graph of our quadratic equation or quadratic function. Typically when graphing with software, we have to use x and y rather than l and a, but these two equations are equivalent where x would be the length and y would be the area. Looking at the graph of our equation, if we can determine this high point, the vertex, we can determine the dimensions of the rectangle that would maximize the area. So on this graph, the x-coordinate or l-coordinate would give us the length of the rectangle that would maximize the area, and the y-coordinate or a-coordinate would give us the maximum area. If we have a quadratic equation or quadratic function in general form or this form here, where f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can use this formula to determine the vertex, where the x-coordinate is negative b divided by 2a, and the y-coordinate is f of negative b divided by 2a. So to find the function value of the y-coordinate, we substitute x equals negative b divided by 2a for the input variable and evaluate the function. So notice for our equation, a would be the coefficient of l squared, so a is equal to negative one, and b is equal to 880. We don't need c, but c would be the constant, and therefore c is equal to zero. So using a and b, we can now find the x-coordinate of the vertex. Let's do this on the next slide. So the x-coordinate, in our case the l-coordinate, is equal to negative b divided by 2a, which would be negative 880 divided by 2 times negative 1, which equals negative 880 divided by negative 2, which equals positive 440. So when the length of the rectangle is 440 centimeters, the area is maximized. So our vertex has coordinates L comma A. So now we know that the L is equal to 440. To determine the maximum area, we need to evaluate our area equation 
when L equals 440. Remember the area formula was area equals negative L squared plus 880L. So if L is equal to 440, the area would be equal to the opposite of positive 440 squared plus 880 times 440. Let's go to the calculator and evaluate this. We have the opposite of 440 squared plus 880 times 440. So the maximum area is 193,600 square centimeters. Let's go back to our graph before we answer our questions. Our graph does verify our work is correct. Notice how the L coordinate does look like it's 440, and the A coordinate does look like it's 193,600. So going back to the first slide, we now know the length is equal to 440 centimeters. We know the maximum area is 193,600 centimeters squared. We still don't know the width, though. Remember, the width is equal to 880 minus L. So the last step is to find the width. So we have W equals 880 minus L, which is 440, which equals 440. So notice how the length and the width are the same. So we just discovered that to maximize the area of a rectangle with a fixed perimeter, the rectangle will be a square. Remember, all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are not squares. I hope you found this helpful.